There are tons of safes out there to choose from when it comes to security safes. I really like this one. This is the one by Jinx Nobi. They have some really great features. One, it's 4.2 cubic feet. So there are others out there that I would say are a little bit smaller that have like three cubic feet. This one's barely bigger, but has 4.2 cubic feet because of how they built it internally. So it gives a lot more space. I really like that. Um, totally coated, so it's not going to be rusting. You don't have to worry about any of that. A lot of fun features. To be able to start with one, to open it, there are two ways to open it. I guess there's kind of three if you're talking about a fail proof, but it comes with two keys. Uh, I would for sure not have these together, have them separated. You don't ever want to lock these in the safe. To do it, you come, so I want you to come in here and check this out. So it kind of has like this fun little feature right here. You pull this back, re reveals that, put it in, twist, and then obviously open. This is what it looks like on the inside. Everything is completely covered with padding so you don't have to worry about your stuff getting scratched which i really like that it has this would be like if you want to put like kind of papers then you want to hold it in place with this which is nice keys or jewelry whatever you got going on here this is where you're going to be putting in the batteries to be able to function this front piece it comes with batteries by the way which i really like that a lot of others don't uh, it has five one two three four and on the fifth on the bottom uh that are going to be able to lock this in place that go into the corresponding spots right here on the inside of the safe so you don't have to worry about people getting this bad boy. This thing is a beast in the best sense of the word. Uh, so you have bottom all the way down there. You got obviously the shelf. And then in here, you have an extra part of security where it comes with these keys as well. These keys are the ones that are going to be opening it here on the inside. Open it up. It's also padded in there. You don't have to worry about stuff getting scratched, which I really like. It's just as big as the entire unit. So it goes pretty deep, which is great. Let's lock that one back up. I think aesthetically, one... I really like it. Aesthetically, it looks really, really nice. Um, let's talk about this other part. So that's obviously the manual key. Let's lock it back up. Closed. The piston's just engaged. Not going anywhere. You can't get in this bad boy. To open it, I set just a very generic code so you guys can see how it works. But you would press pound, and then it activates this. You go one, two, three, four is what I put just for the purposes of this video. Open. Now it's ready to open. Another thing that I like about it is, so we're going to lock it back up. It takes about half a second from when you turn it to be able to lock back up. It can't go anywhere. Here, if you want, you can have the month, day, and year for the time, as well as like there's a little dial. I'm not sure if you're able to see it, but it shows the day of the month. Sorry, the day of the week right there, as well as you can have a clock. So you can set that however you want, depending on where you're located. So let's open this back up. And pound, opens up. If for some reason your batteries give out in here, which by the way, these batteries are going to last a long time. This barely takes any power. There is a tiny little port on the bottom here. You might not even be able to see it, but it comes with this. This is the backup battery just in case these batteries on the inside go out. Now, once again, if that happens, you can just use your keys. But say for some reason you even lose these keys, you put batteries in here. You're going to plug it into the bottom. And it's just this tiny little hole right there. And then this will provide power to this unit. And then you can do all of the stuff that you need to be able to do here to then get in. So that's a really nice feature that it has. If you don't want to reset there, zoom all the way in here. You're going to have to look really far on the inside. There is this red button in here. And that's going to be your like master reset if you want to go through. And you don't have to worry about someone doing that because, well, if they got to that, they got inside your safe. And that's probably not going to happen. So you don't have to worry about that. But that's for your own purposes of doing it. Um, another security feature that this has is you can bolt it into the wall and... Not a lot of those have this into the ground. So it comes with these. You can bolt these into concrete. Uh, if you want, you can obviously put it into wood. So come here to the back side. So on the back side, there are two holes. Now they're covered up with stickers just for purposes to be able to make sure that no dust is getting in. But it shows you where the holes are created so that if you want to, to be able to put it into wood, to be able to put it into concrete. Another really fun thing, let me close this so I can show you the bottom. Lock right up. Come look at the bottom. It's heavy. On the bottom, there are two holes that you can see. Having that allows you to be able to bolt it to the ground as well for extra security purposes. So you can do the bottom, the back. You can do both, but really just that'd be overkill. Um, if you saw on the bottom, there are paddings on the bottom of this. So you don't have to worry about when you're sliding this around. Listen, it's not scraping, which I really, really like that. So I love this thing. The fact that you got these keys, you got the internal you can bolt it down. You got the backup battery. The other thing that I love is it comes with this. This is a really nice feature. It comes with the waterproof and fireproof bag. This thing, look at that. Nothing's getting in there.
fireproof, which I really, really like that. And what's smart about them is they made this the size of a normal piece of paper. So you don't have to fold up your documents. You can put it in here as a full piece of paper or whatever your document is, throw it in the safe, you're good to go. So I would highly recommend this. This thing's amazing. It's amazing. I hope you guys really enjoy it.